Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 with the Watson family. It's Sunday morning and both Heidi and Josie are up and Heidi is right now going on a walk with Diego, although she's going in her pyjamas, which I don't know if this is the best outfit to go on a walk with your dog, but that's great, That that's okay, you know? <laughs> Uh, anyway, Josie is right now taking a bath. She actually really would like to go on a hike, so let's have her do that. Let's go on a hike. Bailey is asleep right now, so let's just go by yourself. And what I have in mind for this part is just to play through Sunday and actually really focus on Jack's body skill, as well as giving Josie a makeover because I haven't done that yet. I really wanted to keep this for this part. And I really wanted to thank you guys for all of the votes after what I talked about in the last part, which was which series to bring in onto the channel once this series comes to an end. And so far, most of you guys want to see season two of the Watson family, which makes me really happy. So thank you all so, so much for the votes and for letting me know what you guys would like to watch and would like for me to bring onto the channel or actually bring back onto the channel. So like I said, today we're just going to play through Sunday. So this way, this part will not be the very last one of this season of the Watson family, but the next one will be because I think in the next part, Heidi will be leaving for university. But like I said today, I really want to play as Jack, Josie and Heidi and have them all go to, to the Platinum Gym. You know, the, the gym that comes with the, the fitness hobby skill or hobby rather. Because I think I talked about this in the last part, but Joe Play Sims let me know that by working, you know, on the, on the military career reward item that is in that gym, Jack can actually evolve in his body skill much faster. The wild world of nature. Oh my god, is Heidi getting attacked by bees? I think I hear bees. <laughs> the wild world of nature being at one with your surroundings is a goal that many nature enthusiasts share. Trying to achieve that goal is a journey that has many obstacles. This time, your obstacle is bees. Run! <laughs> I think Lucy got attacked by bees once. Oh. Poor Heidi, look at her, she's getting attacked. <laughs> That's really fun. I mean, not for her of course, but for us it's quite fun. Also, I was thinking if we go and get a cell phone, because I've pinned this one for Josie, we can go back to the four corner shop place and we can also take a picture of Jack and Josie together, as well as Heidi and Josie together. Maybe also have Lucy take some pictures with her, with her daughters, that could be great. Actually, Lucy would like to go on a hike, so let's go hiking. And what does Jack want to do? Uh, let's go on your own, that's fine. Jack doesn't really want to do anything that I can achieve right now. He wants to go swimming, which hopefully I would like for him to do once we are at the at the gym. But yeah, also I really want to start working on this last creativity skill point that Lucy needs for her career. And this way, hopefully in the next part, she will accomplish her lifetime want. I really hope so though. And Jack just dropped some flowers after the date they had yesterday, which is great. Also, Jack needs to work on a logic skill point, so maybe as soon as he's done taking a shower, I can have him look through the telescope. And I'd like for Heidi to take care of this plant that she planted here. Let's go and tend, and then maybe we can also go ahead and water. How are the plants over here? Yes, I think I need Lucy to take care of this. Let's go and actually tend many, and I don't think we need to water the plants. And is Josie playing? the sims yes i think she's playing the sims but all i think this is the you know the announcement for the sims 3 i think i think that's what it is yes it is all right so jack just earned his last logic skill point that he needs to be able to get promoted so now all he needs is to continue working on his body skills so let's go and stop that i think i'm having heidi right now just clean up the bathrooms Yes, she is right now, so because her dad needs to take a bath, I'm just going to have him go here. Talk about a green thumb. Lucy has learned to understand the secret language of plants and all that work has produced a gold gardening talent badge. Cool! Lucy's killing it! Wow, she also really would like to go back on a date. Maybe we can go on another date as soon as, you know, they need to drink some more elixirs, but I think she'll have this wish anyway eventually. Alright, so Lucy just went to play the piano, which is perfect since she, ne she needs to work on her creativity skill point, and this is working on creativity. And I think in the last part, Heidi managed to tune the, the piano, because this is a thing that you need to do as well in The Sims 2, I actually completely forgot about that. 
But yeah, she's currently working on her creativity skill point, which is great. And what is Josie doing? She's chatting with Jane. Who is Jane? Oh, she wants to become friends with Natasha. Cool. Jane Wendland. I don't know who that was. But Heidi wanted to talk with Josie, so let's have the two sisters chat with each other. Also, I really wanted to thank you guys for all of the suggestions on what to do with Season 2. And I'm so excited to see that you guys are really... Oh, look at Jack, he seems so shocked. Why are you so shocked? <laughs> Maybe he's not realizing, oh my god, my two girls are so big and so... They're growing up and here I am. <laughs> But anyway, let's have actually the entire family just go somewhere together. Let's take Heidi, Josie, and Lucy. At first I wasn't sure if I wanted to take Lucy with us, but you know, why not? Do we to go to the Frippery Frock? No, I'd like to go downtown and go to the corner shops. There you go, because there we have actually a photo booth and I really want for the family to take pictures together. And hopefully Heidi will finally change into her everyday outfit. Oh, that doesn't seem like a very nice conversation they're having. All right, but let's go to the corner shops, give ha give Josie a makeover, get her a cell phone, and take pictures with the family before we go to, to the gym. The family just arrived at the corner shop and Jack actually wants to take a photo, so... First of all, let's have Josie go ahead and buy something. She wants to go on a tour. I think Josie will be... will like traveling. I'd like maybe, you know, to have one of the family members travel travel a lot to be able to discover all of those secret lots that we can find in Bon Voyage. So maybe Josie could be that sim since she wants to go on a tour even though we're not on vacation anymore. But then I'd like for you to go ahead and buy an everyday. I also would like for you to buy a PJ. Probably also buy some gym clothes and some outerwear. All right, so there we go. Oh, actually this top is pretty cool. Usually I go for the full outfits, but maybe we could try to make something for, for Josie. Like having this top in gold, and is there maybe a pair of pants that could be great for her? I'm thinking something blue though, like a pair of jeans or something. Or maybe we could keep, you know, the idea of a skirt. Could go for that. That's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna put that into, into the card just in case. Or there's this shirt here, which has kind of an ombre to it. No, I think I really like the gold. But let's see. Is there any outfits in there that are... That is actually quite goldish that she would like? There's this one. But I don't know. I like the idea of her having a skirt or a dress. There's this outfit as well that's pretty cool. Kind of like this one. But I actually think I like better these these two together and this could be a pretty cool outfit for her. It kind of goes with what she currently has, but you know, a little bit better. So <laughs> let's go and get these two, these two outfits. And Heidi actually fears of not being educated. That's pretty cool. But let's have her get in and let's have her mom get in as well. So this way, oh, look at these two. They were dancing over there. <laughs> oh. They're still very young at heart, that's for sure. But I think this pajamas for for Josie is pretty cool. Or she could go for a robe. No, I think she would go for a robe, actually. Let's go for that. All right, let's have Lucy and Heidi take pictures together. Who is this? This is Rick Contrary. I don't remember which outfit that is. Oh, this is for the, the gym clothes. So there's nothing really gold per se, but there's something orange. Like we have this one or this one. I'd like to go for this one, to be honest. Kind of like it more. I think it suits Josie a little bit more. All right, let's take pictures. Like let's, let's take normal pictures together. And Lucy actually wants for Josie to get a scholarship and for Heidi to go to university. Heidi will go to university pretty soon. All right, so which outfit would be great for... Oh, this one! It's not really gold, but it has, you know, it has some browns. I think it looks great on her. Or this one. I think this is CC, but I'm not sure. I don't think so because it has the icon here. It's 300 simoleons. That's so expensive. Or there's this blue one. No, this one I think would be better for, for Heidi. No, I'm going to go for this one because it has this skirt kind of theme that I really wanted for, for Josie to have. Great. All right. Heidi, uh, not Heidi, Josie. I keep mixing up their names. Let's go and change, plan an outfit. Let's go and plan your everyday and then plan gym, 
plan outerwear. All right, so we're gonna go for this t-shirt and this skirt. I think she's going to look amazing this way. This orangey one is going to be your gym clothes and plan an outfit that's gonna plan PJs. We're gonna go into this robe. There we go. Now let's have you, she's getting a little bit hungry though. Let's have you get in. I wonder if Rick is actually a teenager because we haven't seen the cutscene, you know, of the teens sharing their first kiss with each other. So maybe we could try to do that with Josie and maybe Rick, who's, I guess, a teen, could be someone that Josie would like. Hopefully she would like him. Otherwise, she can try to meet someone else and and share their her first kiss with them. All right, let's have Jack and Josie take pictures together. Take picture normal. I'm not gonna take the goofy ones because with the goofy ones you barely see their face and I'd like to see, you know, the pictures of the family just hanging up on the walls. I really wonder if Josie would like Rick. Let's greet him and see if she likes him. And then you'll need to take a picture with your mom. And with your sister as well before Heidi leaves for university. Oh, and it's raining. Alright, so let's go and chat with him. Let's go and chat. Do you like him? No, I don't think she does. Can you check him out and see if you like him? Although I don't think he corresponds to what she actually likes. No, she doesn't like him. <laughs> Did you see? Yes, she doesn't like him. All right. Oh, she wants to go to university. Interesting. Let's go and get in and let's have your mother join you. So I guess Josie will be going to university as well. Does she have a want, a lifetime want? Oh, she wants to become a media magnet. That's actually so perfect for her. All right, let's go and take pictures. Let's take normal pictures. And let's have Heidi come here. Actually, Heidi was on talking to her sister. She wants to go on a tour as well. Maybe the family would like to go back on a vacation. Although for Heidi and Josie, they will need to wait a little bit longer because they will, or at least for Heidi, she'll need to wait a little bit more because she'll need to, to go to university first. But I don't know if when a sim is in university, they can actually go on vacation. All right, let's go and join Heidi and maybe actually these two could take some goofy pictures that Heidi could take with her in university. Oh, look at them. All right, let's get back in and join Heidi and let's let's take some goofy pictures. How did they turn out? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, these two, that's awesome. All right. Now, I think we're done with everything I wanted for them to do here, so let's just drive to another lot and we're going to go to the Platinum Gym together as a family so that Jack can work on his body skill. He doesn't really need anything. I saw that Josie needed to eat something and use the, the bathrooms, but I think there's a, a barbecue area in the gym, so Hi uh, not Heidi, Josie will be able to eat something and she'll, of course, will be able, able, eh, able to use the bathrooms. Uh, Josie is hungry as well, so maybe these two... Oh, look, it's Mrs. Crumplebottom. Hello. But yeah, Lucy and Josie will, will be able to eat something. Heidi doesn't really need anything, so she can be... She can work on her fitness hobby skill. Hobby as well. I don't know why I need to add skill after hobby, but anyway. I'll see you at, at the gym. The family just arrived at the gym, so let's have Jack get right on in and run the course. He can apparently already offer lessons. I mean, he's pretty high in the body skill. Let's have Lucy go upstairs. Oh, she would like to go and eat out. Oh, we could have. But anyway, let's go and grill some blackened catfish because I think she has some in her inventory. I'm not sure. Heidi, maybe you can go swimming. Let's go and dive. Oh, something that could be cool as well would be for the girls to play Marco Polo together because I don't think that's something I've ever seen in the game. I mean, I, I saw some footage of it in other people's videos, but I've never really seen it in my own game. All right, are you going to go? Come on, Nathan. Wow, that's pretty cool. Is Cassidy actually going to take our place? Come on, move. Thank you. Are you going to succeed? Nope. <laughs> She's really not that great. How are you, Jack? How is your skill going? Yay, it's going high. Look at that. Or it's going up, I should say. I don't know why, but I'm so nervous recording this part today. I guess it's because I'm quite sad to actually say goodbye for now to, to the Watson family. I guess. All right, let's go upstairs and eat something because you're hungry. Heidi, is there something else you can work on? Is there the, you know, the bike that you can use? Yes, there is. So let's go here and work out. Josie looks so much better with this outfit. I'm actually really glad I got her this one. 
But I guess Josie being a, or wanting to become a journalist, maybe she will need to go on tours and take pictures and stuff to, I mean, I'm pretending here, <laughs> to maybe write articles on hotels and hotel room and services and stuff. Maybe that can be fun actually to have her travel to, to write articles on those and maybe she, we can pretend that by just writing books. That could be so much fun. Oh, Jack has gained a body skill point. Cool. So he's just missing one skill and then he'll be able to get a promotion. As for you, Lucy, I don't know if there's something you can use to work on your on your creativity, but we still have, I think, a couple days before she has to go to work. So she'll be able to work on this within the next couple days, which is okay. Although Jack, I think he has to go to work today, so... If he actually gets to get the, the last skill point, he might be able to get a promotion today and finally reach the level 8. Come on! <laughs> he seems so tired. Let's have Heidi join him. Let's go and run. Josie, though, her hobby is tinkering. It used to be fitness, I remember, but I cheated so that it would be something different. I don't think she can work on anything in here. Can she tinker something? No, I don't think she can tinker the showers. But she can maybe at the house. But it could be fun maybe to have her get her own car, just like her mom did with the, you know, the rundown car that comes with with free time. I wonder if we can actually repaint the car to be yellow. Or actually just even the car to be yellow overall, because this is, as we saw, Josie's favorite color, so it could be fun to have her get this color. <laughs> I wonder if he asked for training, if we ask Vin for lesson, would it go faster? Are you getting... Oh, he stinks. <laughs> Come on, Heidi. She gained a body skill point, at least. What are you doing, Lucy? Lucy is still a child at heart, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's have you maybe dive and have Josie do the same. And maybe have the two of you play Marco Polo. How is Lucy going to jump, actually? She doesn't seem very comfortable. But she's actually pretty strong. You can actually see her six-pack. Yay! All right, Josie. Oh, she actually has the exact same swimwear as her sister. Will you do a belly flop just like Heidi? Yep. <laughs> okay, so both both sisters seems to be quite clumsy. All right, let's pause the game and ask Lucy to play Marco Polo. And Heidi just gained a body skill point. Cool. Jack, did you ask the question? Come on, let's ask to to train. Are they playing? I think they are. But how do you play this game? How do you play Marco Polo? Eureka, the nuances of body skill are suddenly much clearer to me. Heidi has gained a body skill point. Cool. So the Eureka trait is actually is actually playing. Well, I think Josie is playing with Vin. Why aren't you Jack is eating, but he's not training. Come on, let's ask Vin for lessons. Alright, you can stop Heidi. You can stop and take another shower. I mean, they're just swimming around and calling each other. Josie has gained a body skill point as well. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. I saw Lucy do that as well earlier. That's something I actually cannot do in water. I'm not really comfortable in a swim in, in a pool. I don't know why. I, I don't like when my feet aren't touching the ground and I feel like I'm going to drown every time I'm not touching the ground. Oh, Is she getting even stronger than she was? I think she is. She did. She just became fit. I mean, we already saw her pack, her six pack. All right, Jack, did you ask the question? You didn't. Come on. Can you finally ask that question to be trained? Where is he going? Oh, there he goes. All right, let's try that again. Let's ask Vin for lessons. I think Vin is the, the sim that runs this gym and is supposed to be the, the person that comes and gives you the card to this platinum gym. But she's chatting with this guy, so I can't ask her. Come on, ask Vin. Stop chatting! Alright, I'm trying one more time. After that, I'm just going to have him run the course by himself. Because their chatting is just a never-ending chat. Oh, there he goes, finally. Is Lucy actually getting into fitness? I think she is, look at that! Why are you listening to music as well? I mean, no, it's Josie! Josie is dancing. Let's have your sister join in. Dance, let's go and dance this muscle. Oh, she doesn't want to dance anymore, I think. Are you really... 
Or maybe it's just because she doesn't want to listen to, to the jazz radio station anymore. Which I understand. Oh, that's where the whistle was coming from. Is it going faster though? I think he's a little bit more than halfway through the skill point. And how far is Heidi in her body skill? Because Jubilee Sims actually let me know that to be able to get a scholarship depending on your skill points, you need to actually be at the level 8 of a skill point. But I think, yes, Heidi is two points away from the the eight skill points to be able to get this scholarship, which is okay, you know, we have the money and I'd like for her to struggle a little bit in university. He's so close from reaching the max level of the body skill. And I think Sims have a memory as soon as they reach the, the maximum body skill point. Although it's three in the morning, technically it doesn't really matter, but we should think about heading back to the house. Looking good, Lucy. She's gained a body... a point of body skill. Cool. Look at that, he's so close. That could be so awesome if he could get a promotion today. <gasps> I think he just mastered this skill point. Did you? Maximized the body skill. Eureka, looks like I know all there is to know about this subject. Awesome! That's so cool. Alright, you can stop now. Let's go ahead, use the bathrooms, take a shower, or actually, you know what, we'll do that, we'll do that at home. Let's go and drive home because I think Josie is exhausted, Heidi I think is quite tired as well. Oh, Lucy is really tired. I wanted for her to work on her creativity skill when, when we'll be back home, but I guess I'll need to wait for that. Maybe she can just take a quick nap so that she can then work on her, on her creativity and get a promotion, but... Once again, she technically has the entire Monday free to be able to work on this body skill and she's already halfway through this skill point, so it's it's not an emergency, you know, for her to get this skill point. Unlike for Jack, because he's supposed to be going to work as soon as we go home, you know, like two or three hours as soon as we're back home, he's going to go to work and hopefully he's going to get a promotion. The family is arriving back home, so like I said, I'm going to have actually Lucy go to bed really quickly so that she can take a quick nap. I think Heidi needs to eat something, so let's go get some... What did I click on? Get some leftovers, there you go. Jack, I'd like for you to take care of your bladder and hygiene, so let's take a shower actually, so this way it'll be a little bit faster. Heidi, not Heidi, Josie, what can you do? She's a little bit tired, so maybe she can take a quick nap. Now, I'd like to see where I can hang up those pictures of the family. So, where to put that picture? Oh, we can put those on... on surfaces, cool! Oh, but I think we have something already on the... on the desk. I mean, over here it's nice. And this one, it's, I think, of Jack and her. No, I think I can maybe put this one over here. This way we can look at it sometimes. And I wonder, is there someone who has another picture in their inventory? I I guess Jack has another one. Although I think this one is the one with Corey. Corey, sorry. So you have the one with your sister and you have the other one with your sister as well. And one with your mom. Alright, so this one is the, the other one that I need to hang up somewhere. But where? Not above the... I was thinking maybe above the, the trash can, but that's not very nice. No, maybe over here actually. There we go. I think that's good enough this way. We have family pictures all over the place. And I think I'd like to keep these two, because this is one with... Although, did I hang up this one with the two girls? No, I don't think I did. Maybe in the parents' room, actually, just above the, the dresser. Oh yeah, just like that. But this one, I want to keep. Alright, there we go. There are pictures of the family everywhere. How awesome is that? Heidi and Josie are both asleep in, in the living room on the sofas and I think that's actually really cute. That's a cute moment right there. As for Jack though, he was actually making some grandma comfort soup because we don't really have a whole lot of food left in, in the fridge. So yeah, I wanted for him to, to make something. And look at that, it's so glittery! So pretty. Uh, I think I'm going to have Lucy get up so that she can take care of her hygiene and... Oh, Corey is no longer a family friend. We'll need to call him. And the carpool for Jack will arrive in an hour. I'd like to check, actually, if he gets a promotion. That'll be awesome. But yeah, then Lucy, I'd like for you maybe to eat some food. Heidi doesn't need to eat anything. But Josie will need to use the bathrooms. But for that, we need her mom to go. Also, I checked Diego's age. 
We might need to get the, you know, to take out from, I think, Lucy's inventory, the, the magic ball, so that he can eat from it. He'll need to take a bath as well, so maybe Heidi could give Diego a bath. But yeah, I really wanted to thank you guys for all of your suggestions in the comments of the last part, but as well on the on the poll I left on the community community tab of the channel. Because all of your suggestions actually inspired me a lot and are giving me a lot of ideas for season two. Especially once Heidi will be done with university, because you know, we're just going to have her go to university, work on work on her skills and try to get the best grades possible to then have a very successful life. But yeah, thank you so much for for all the ideas that you you left in the last part, this is this is really awesome. So thank you, thank you so much for all of that support. It really, really means a lot to me. All right, Lucy is done with the bathroom, so let's have Josie use those. She really wants to become friends with Natasha. Maybe she can go ahead and chat with her. Although she's not online, maybe she can chat with Emily. I don't know who Emily is. Oh, come on, go to work. I know you're tired, but that's fine. How come you're so exhausted suddenly? I thought he was okay, what happened? Heidi only has two days left before celebrating a birthday. I know. So I don't know actually if Heidi will be leaving for university tomorrow evening or on Tuesday and just stay home from school on Tuesday, although she doesn't really have any any vacation days left. So she might actually be leaving for university tomorrow evening as soon as she's done with school before she ages up into an adult. Oh, that's so sad, but also really exciting. All right, Heidi, can you get up and give Diego a bath? Lucy, though, I'd like for you to continue practice the piano. Oh, actually, first, you need to put the food away, put the leftovers away and clean up the bowls and then practice music. Oh, look at that poor little toy here. Bailey de destroyed this mouse. <laughs> we need to clean it up. Let's go and practice some music. How is the garden? Is it okay? Do we need to water? We need to water many. And then, finally, you can play the piano. I feel like I've been canceling this animation for so long. What are you doing? Bailey? Scold for destroying the furniture. That's not okay. Alright, so apparently... <laughs> Josie is done chatting with, I think, Emily it was, and now she's playing video games. I feel like she's going to like a little bit more new technologies than Heidi, because she she spends so much time on the computer. I like how different these two are from each other. This is going to make things a, a lot more interesting, I think. Alright, let's go and get some grandma comfort soup. And let's have Josie actually get some leftovers as well, so this way maybe she can join you and eat with you. And look at that, Lucy shining every time she takes care of her garden. She's so happy with this hobby. I'm so glad of how much we've ha we have accomplished with this family. That's quite crazy. I don't think I've ever accomplished so much in The Sims 2. Oh, look at that, she's almost halfway through this skill. I really hope that she's going to get a promotion next time she goes to work, so this way I can finally see what happens when a Sim fulfill their lifetime want. And I'm glad to see that Diego and Bailey are getting along. Oh, that's awesome. And also, even though, you know, they look alike, they are also quite different, you know, with their facial features. Oh, I think Bailey is singing along to the piano and Heidi cannot stand it. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. But let's have Heidi go to sleep as soon as she's done cleaning up the plate. Oh, bless you, Haya Josie. I keep missing it, mixing up their names, that's crazy. Alright, Josie is done eating, let's go and clean this up and go to bed. And how far is Lucy from reaching the next skill point? She's so close from, from the creativity skill point that she needs. But yeah, getting actually this mod that removes the requirements for the friends is so handy. I really hope as well that Jack is going to get this promotion. But I might actually have them go on another date so that he can get a little bit younger. And there you go, Lucy just gained a creative creativity skill point but she's really tired oh actually joe play sims let me know that because we got the the gnome stolen in the last part lucy actually got this uh this action here which is still back the gnome so let's see her go back to steal the gnomes and this actually is something that spawns on its own and the sims just go and get the the gnome stolen back if that makes any sense and they do this on their own Cory and Jack are no longer best friends. Oh, that sucks. Are you gonna get the gnome back? 
I'm so glad to see that animation because I actually, I think on accident though, canceled it as I was having Jack and Lucy Woohoo in the car and I was upset because I really wanted to get this gnome back. I mean, we found it when we went on a hike, so it's ours. Give it back. I really hope she's going to get it. Did you get it? I have stolen back my gnome. It's in my inventory. Cool. Yay. Awesome. All right. You can go to bed. I will have you tomorrow take care of the garden because as you can see, it's in a very, very bad state. And then let's go and get the gnome outside. I mean, it's quite dangerous to put it back here again, but you know, that's okay. We can apparently steal it back, which is awesome. Jack is coming back home and I really hope that he's going to get a promotion, although because he was really tired that might have gotten in the way of him getting a promotion. He did get a promotion! Awesome! You're making three films a year. You're deluged with scripts and you just got voted sexiest man alive. Wow, by three different tabloids. Try to keep your eye on your job amidst all this acclaim. Since one bad picture is all it takes to bump you onto late night infomercials. Oh, he just fell asleep. Poor Jack. He was exhausted. But he got a promotion. Awesome. So now he's a leading man. Cool. So what do you need now? He needs some charisma and he once again needs some logic. Alright, so we just need to work on those. Now, oh, his time actually to work is a little bit better. He doesn't come home as late. But look at all the money he makes. 2,000 simoleons. Look at all that money we have now. I think we had like 4,000 simoleons before he went to work and now we're at 11,000 simoleons. That's crazy. But he's finally level 8. Hopefully he'll get the next couple promotions that he needs before he dies because I really, really want to accomplish this lifetime want for him. But anyway, can you can you wake up, Jack? Let's go and wake up and go to sleep. You deserve a good night's sleep and a comfortable bed. But on that note, you guys, I'm actually going to end this part here. So... Next part will actually be the last one for this family because Heidi will be leaving for university. I think I'm going to have her go to university on Monday evening after she came. She comes back from school, so she'll spend some time with her family. But then she'll be leaving for university and I will play through Tuesday to see if Lucy actually accomplishes her lifetime want or not. I really hope she will though because she's so close. She's ready! She's ready, you know? And in season two, you we will be following Heidi, of course, in university, but I will also be following this family as well because I really want for Jack to also accomplish his lifetime want, but I also would like to prepare Josie to go to university. And I mean, it's the, it's the Watson family. We need to follow everyone. But on that note, you guys, as I said, I'm going to end this part here. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all of the support on this series. It really means a lot. And you can still vote for which series you would like to see me bring back in a couple of months after the after what the Watson family is done but I think I am pretty sure it's going to be the Watson family season two which I'm so excited for but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one bye everyone